Many teams say that um, with traditional processes, it is really time consuming and, uh, and labor intensive to check the models against uh, contractual and agreed requirements, whether the models contain the right information or not. So this is something that we were focusing on at Planoly and making it as easy, as simple as possible and even making it autonomous and automated so teams can check the deliverables themselves before sending it to their receiving parties. As I click around uh, you know, on the left side between different kind of requirements, I can very easily see that, for example, I have 29 pieces of, of ceilings, which uh, out of the 29, 25 shows up as green, meaning that it is perfect according to my requirements. If it shows up in an orange color, it means that um, the modeling properties are there as expected, but the values are not according to my expectations. In some other cases, if you, if you see red color, it would even mean that uh, the, the modeling properties are completely missing from these elements. So it is very easy to understand the results, very simple uh, and visual to understand the quality of the, of, the, of the models being delivered. But actually, in order to reach this stage, first of all, very importantly, we have to really understand in the first place why we are creating uh, models. What are the different use cases? What are the purposes of model creation? Who is going to be responsible for, um, for a certain model component uh, at a given point in time? And after all, what kind of geometry and what kind of information has to be added to these modeling components? That's what we define in the scope. So everything starts in the scope, defining all these uh, kind of agreements and, and purposes and requirements, going down into the details of, of modeling components and modeling properties, even defining if wanted to, if needed, um, the expected values of each and every uh, information, each and every modeling property. It could be Boolean, as an example, it could be a number, numeric entry, minimum, maximum value, even units of measurement, or uh, one value out of a list of values as, as common separated values, for example. Once this definition happens, each and every cell is translated as a task and is going to be represented as a, as a task card in the verify module. So now if I, if I jump back to the verify module, whatever we see on the left side is those cells being represented as a nice card uh, on the left side. The only thing that we have to do is tell plenally which uh, elements of my 3D model should be checked against which requirements. This is a roof check it against the roof requirements, don't check it against the window requirements because it wouldn't make sense. In order to do that, we have to link the model components to requirements and this linking can happen very, very easily by just setting up one single rule on a model level saying that the name of my task, for example, like ceilings, is entered in a certain property of the model. It could be, in our example, a type name property, but could be anything else because the models just carry a lot of information with itself. So you can choose any of the properties uh, saying that that property carries the right information to link up the model uh, to the name of my task. Another property could be, uh, when it comes to the tasks, is the code. So if you are using Uniclass, Uniformat, or any other kind of uh, classification structures, even custom classification structures, you can use that coding structure to link up the elements from the model uh, to the tasks. If that was not enough, and if you want to create more sophisticated, more selective rules, these can be defined on a task level as well. So either following the model rules or creating task rules allow you to say that, for example, all elements from a certain level should be linked up to a, to a task and check against the agreed requirements. Because here you can create even more rules you can think about very sophisticated selections saying that all the red doors on the second floor should be checked against certain requirements that we agreed when we uh, created our execution plan. This is pretty much it, how to automatically check the requirements uh, and check the model content against the uh, agreed requirements.